Good morning from the sleepy puppy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finished editing the video. I exported it in the wrong frame rate, unfortunately, because Tim was doing his, um, see how it's in red there? Because he was doing a Spider-Man video, so boo, it's going to take longer to export. But that's okay. Hey, what are you doing, little buddy? Cooked up my beans, now including less farts. So uh, that's pretty good. I've had a productive morning. Our dishwasher broke, though, which kind of stinks. So it's, it's like a really old model. I don't even know that... It's a Frigidaire. I don't even know that they like make this model anymore. So I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they're gonna send us a new one or if they're just gonna come out and try to fix this one. But not having a dishwasher is not super fun. And I have to figure out what to do with all these dirty dishes. I don't know if I should just like send them through because it still steams. So I don't know if I should just send it through and steam them or if I, I, I just don't know. I'm lost without a dishwasher. I don't know if you guys can see this humongous wasp that's outside of our door. I think he's trying to like build a little nest. Oh, you can't really tell, but there's a, like a, a nest up there that he's trying to build. He is humongous. There he is. Look at that stinger. Holy crap. The hawk is back. Wow, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's looking at us. I'm kind of afraid to let the dogs out. He hasn't really moved. The dogs are out there. So hopefully... Nope. Oh, there he goes. He flew away. Okay. The dog scared him. Oh, oh no. The sky is so weird right now. I've never seen like it totally covered in clouds like this. There's not a single like blue area. It's just an entirely humongous cloud. So I don't know if that means it's going to rain. It doesn't feel like it's going to rain, but it's kind of weird. I was just outside walking the dogs and it was totally not raining. And then I felt one drop on my foot and Bandit still hadn't gone to the bathroom. I was like, Bandit, come on. It's starting to... Ah! Oh, it's raining. Jen and I have been watching Toddlers and Tiaras. Yes, I did say that I have been watching. I get drawn in. It's ridiculous to watch people with southern accents yell at their children. It has also taught me that if you want your child to become anything in life, you must torture them repeatedly for small amounts of money. I wouldn't really say they're being tortured. That's harsh. They are being tortured. Literally, one of the last episodes that we watched, I could hear a girl yelling, Ow! It hurts! Take it out! Take it out now! That was Mackenzie! It was Mackenzie. <laughs> so on all these trips out that we go shop kicking on, we always walk past this consignment shop. And every time we walk past it, it's closed. We're hoping that we're going early enough that it'll be open and Jen will be able to talk to the lady inside and be like, hey, what kind of stuff are you guys looking for? Because Jen has a whole closet full of clothes that she doesn't wear anymore because she doesn't work at a job where she has to wear a specific type of clothes. Ing? <laughs> Clothing? <laughs> I, I don't have to wear clothes at all. I oh. Can, I mean, I yeah. <laughs> but I do. I wear clothes. <laughs> I want my Nene. <laughs> All these shows that we watch have these great one-liners, you know, like when we were watching Walking Dead, it was, it was always, come on, Carl, you know, that kind of thing, or Carl was not in the house or something like that. Or now with this Mackenzie thing and Toddlers and Tierras, it's like, I want my Nene. I want something for us, you and me, and Jen too, of course, <laughs> that we can be like, you know, blah, blah, blah. So leave me a comment. Uh, if there's anything you've heard me say that you're like, yeah, that should be on a shirt or something like that, you know? Because then we could have like a, a catchphrase. Aside from now, it's time to pay the price. But something ridiculous that only you and I know, like inside joke. What an inside joke. So we, we, we found it. They were open. It's a 60-40 a split. So the, the store gets to keep 60 and Jen would be able to keep 40. And the type of clothes that they would be selling of hers were going for about 20 to Some of them are even 50 $50. bucks. Yeah. So you're looking at about eight to ten dollars per piece that's not bad what? excuse me between eight and 40 no 20. <laughs> i'm so math, confused math, math was not math. my strong point <laughs> i'm good at fractions <laughs> it's kind of interesting that the old navy has all this mickey mouse stuff and mini i like this one though this is a pretty awesome shirt oh, yeah. if we had kids in beauty pageants i would wear the shirt for wherever we're going that's a beauty pageant in brooklyn i like how this random monster is just supposed to be a random monster, but it looks like Plankton from Spongebob. Jen, I want this sandwich cutter. Just kidding, dinosaurs. Look at these, it's funny, they have the e-cards on little. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously, dinosaurs. Yeah. 
So keeping on top of trending topics, Kanye West has his own clothing line, right? Do you know what it's called? Uh, I don't know. Oh. North by Northwest. <laughs> um, and one of the things that he has in his clothing line is a plain white shirt. Just a plain white t-shirt. Maybe it might be a, a v-neck or something. I don't know. It just looks plain and white to me. He's selling it for $125. $125 plain white t-shirt. Man, I wish I had that kind of life where I could be like, plain white t-shirt, uh, $125. And they're like, okay. And they <laughs> sell it. It sells. People buy it. Ugh, and that's the cheapest anywhere. What is it where you guys are at? That's gas, by the way. For you guys in the UK, that's about 92 cents per liter of petrol. I don't know what it is for diesel. More expensive. This is the brightest rainbow we've ever showed you. Yes, it is. I keep trying to take a picture of how epic this rainbow is, but it just doesn't work. Like, all of my pictures turn out not looking like what I'm seeing. Oh, do you see the double, the secondary rainbow over here? Like right above the word Macy's. Fun science fact, every rainbow actually has a double rainbow and the area between the two is darker than the area on the outside of the two. Eh? Science. Off the top of my head, I don't really know why. I know it has something to do with the, the wavelengths at which light disperses, but I, you know, I'd have to look it up to tell you guys. I don't want to give you guys bad science facts. By the way, don't try to start that Twitter because I already got it. Bad science facts. That should totally be a thing. Like, did you know that the opposite of a panda is a squirrel? Science. Did you know that if you mate a koala bear and a brown bear, you get a panda? Did you know that once um, prehistoric birds used to live in conch shells? Science. Did you know that every time that lowrider is playing on the radio, there's a solar eclipse? Science. Did you know that even this plain white shirt? Diamond white is cheaper than Kanye West's, and that's a $30 pack of shirts. So how many? Three. Did you know that escalators were invented by Thomas Escalate? Science. Back to that $3 for, or back to those white shirts though, 10 bucks for an undershirt is still pretty expensive. Maybe that's just like the cheapskate in me, but I wouldn't pay that much. Yeah, it's an undershirt. You're gonna wear it underneath anything. What's the, you could pay like a dollar for that. In fact, even high-waisted bathing suits look bad, no matter how far out into the ocean and next to cliffs you are. Science. In fact, if you put leggings on a mannequin, it looks like they're not wearing any pants. Science. Another science fact? Leggings are not pants, so uh, don't wear them like they are. That's a real fact, though. That's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, no. Science. If you want to reproduce Miley Cyrus's new video, you just need to shop at Frederick's. Science. I could eat all of these things right now. I think that you're slowly losing this whole science thing. No, no, if I say science, it's science. Oh. Science. <laughs> yeah, it did get reducted down to nothing. Not only what is this, but what the heck? Who knew that there were these type of things that you could do? You can receive God's blessings. I know, or you could call Wachovia. I like how you could call the bank or talk to Jesus. Jen's fingers are too small to do. <laughs> she has to, whenever you put a lime in a Corona, you gotta know, flip it over. Gonna, we'll gonna flip it over. Out. I know, it's gonna squirt out. Yeah, oh. but her fingers are too small, so she has to put her entire it. thumb inside of there. Yeah. Where I can just put my thumb over it. But you didn't. I had to do it myself. Well, that's because I was looking up this this coupe that we got for a free beer. Mm. Yeah, just no purchase necessary. Free beer. Walk in, free beer. That's a good coupon. <laughs> People are all like, Tim, you don't need to die. You don't need to exercise. There's ice cream in the house. I'm going to eat it. That's two days in a row that I'm going to have a giant bowl of ice cream. I need to diet and exercise. That, my friends, is why. Because if I say that I'm on a diet or if I say that I'm gonna follow a diet, I only buy stuff that's on the diet because if I have it in the house, I'm gonna eat it. So something funny is happening with our dishwasher right now. Look at what it did to this cup. I feel bad for it. What are you doing? I'm answering comments. Jen's answering comments, but I can't. Well, I started to. Here's what happens. <laughs> Jen's like, we need to answer comments. And I'm like, all right. And then she puts on toddlers and tiaras, which she's totally able to do because that's what like that's what Jen does. She puts the TV on in the background and it's just in the background. But if the TV's on for me, if the TV's on, like I'm watching TV and I can't, she like asked me like, what should we say to this person? And I'm like. And you're like, gotta get my hair done, my nails, get ready for the fashion show. That's true. That is what I am like. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys though, I answered the comments. Um, Tim told me what to say and I like typed it up for him. I'm like a secretary. But some of the comments I answered because they were directed at me. 
So if it's from Tim's channel, but it says at the end, like dash Jen, that's me. Because if I answer from my channel, it like comes up as spam. Either way you look at it, I think she does a great job. I thought you were going to say something about how great of a job I do. That was the best face any dog has ever made. When I was like, Jen does this thing and then he goes. <laughs> Jen's going to stay awake and finish answering more comments, but I have to go to bed because I got to wake up and go to work in the morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.